welcome back. As you know, uh, this is the following from the previous video, pretty much directly after that. It's pissing down with rain out there. I'm in the garage. I've got a coffee. Life's bloody good. So let's continue on. So what I'll do here is start thinking about removing these hubs or the hub assembly. As I said in the previous video, I'm going to replace them with the 109 to keep the same, um, well, it's not just about the studs themselves, but um, the same era-ish, um, although with this poor land it's starting to become a bit of a bastardization. But anyway, it's going to be awesome when it's done. So I'll remove them from both sides. I won't be able to get to the, I don't think I'll be able to get to the 109 given the weather out there. So, um... At least I can uh, enjoy my coffee and wrench at the same time in, inside the garage. The diff here is the one that I'll be uh, putting aside and I'll be reusing my original diff that I've prepped. Um, that's ready to paint. And so effectively it's just servicing and replacing the hub. So I'll be doing the swivel uh, seals as well. I'll be checking bearings, changing where I need to change things. At least there's plenty of grease in there. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll uh, look at servicing this a bit later on. But now we're back to the standard hub assembly. So it's just a matter of punching that block washer down and just removing the lock washers as previously uh, with the rear diff, same principle, and then we should be able to remove this whole hub assembly. Rightio, so as I mentioned, I'll um, service this whole hub assembly separately, just basically re-greasing it and so on, cleaning it out. Nice bit of kit. I've read um, pros and cons about, about using these. Um, we'll see how we go. I can always put the original um, uh, dry flange back on. But anyway, that's a separate story. Okay, so the hub's been removed, so basically that'll just be put aside. Um, I'll just put in storage. And um, because I'm using the, the 109. All right, so what I've decided to do after pondering is I'm going to actually remove the entire stub axle and backing plate by removing these bolts there. Um, it just means that I can replace the brake units easier and I can also replace that distance piece as well so um, yeah sometimes it's just 
not worth the aggravation of trying to work around things so I'll just do that so I'll get on with uh, removing these Right, with the um, stub axle removed I can now change that distance piece easier and it's probably just as well I did that because you're probably not going to be able to see that but there's a hell of a lot of play that you can see that's all that movement Right, so you've seen so far that I've removed this assembly um, from the from the axle housing and got to this point now where I've removed the the backing plate and the um, the hub etc stub axle the whole lot and now we've gotten to this point here where you've got the entire axle in CV now I think I mentioned earlier in another video that I was going to keep things as basic and simple as possible with this rebuild but um, of course that was probably a little bit naive to think that because if I move this out of the way you can see how flogged that is it's just completely pretty much completely collapsed so there was no way that here we go just to having a bit more of an inspection I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this one a miss um, there's a whole lot of scoring that's happened and um, anyway, there's a whole lot of other bits and pieces which I'm not too happy with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one aside and I'm going to take the one out of either the 88 or uh, the 109 and see what the conditions of those are. Unfortunately, it's a bit more work because, you know, pulling things apart, but um, it is what it is. And the second thing too I noticed here is that um, the bearings on this are gone. Uh, when, I, when I move this housing there's actually a step so rather than being a nice smooth movement it's steps so clearly the bearings are gone on this one as well so it looks like it's going to be a complete um, overhaul but um, given that it's a critical component um, that's the way it goes uh, intense hour and hour and a half um, removing bits from the 109 including this drive shaft here all nice and clean even the universal is is actually in good condition um, so it's actually quite good I'm glad I decided to um, check out what the 109 had so that'll be the replacement there um, I've also started removing or pulling apart this other hub assembly um, so what I've uh, what I've found is that um, unfortunately I can't use the three inch brakes and some of you would have probably guessed that by now because just like the studs are smaller on the 2A the hub studs and larger on the series 3 stage 1 I think um, I couldn't use the um, the actual three inch drums I mean they fit but they're a sloppy loose because obviously the uh, holes are bigger for the larger studs and I wasn't comfortable with that. So what I've done is pretty much going to keep the um, original 109 front brakes, the two and a halves. I'm keeping the backing plates because they're actually in good nick and they're pretty much the same. Uh, all I'm doing is transferring over the, um, the shoes and the actual um, drum uh, assembly. Although... One of the reasons why I did swap them over initially was to put them on the back of the of this axle here. But it looks like I'm going to have to be uh, using them or finding another pair that ain't so chipped around the edges. But anyway, another story. So I've got quite a bit to do here. Quite a bit of cleaning up of all the components. Um, new bearings for this. I suspect the same is going to be for the, for the other side. So this is going to be... Um, um, quite a while in the making I suspect but all in the meantime what I'll do is I'll also finish off the chassis I want to paint that before um, it gets too cold uh, as in a top coat probably do a bit of a um, 
and other undercoating in various areas. What I'll do is I'll leave the video at this. Um, I, sus I suspect that the next video would be probably more around the cleaning up of the parts and the um, sourcing the bearings and so on and starting to put those together um, in terms of the front axle. And of course there'll be another video as I said about the, um, the finishing off of the um, chassis itself. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Um, stay tuned and as always thanks for watching.